We're here at Bjelsarim Platz tram stop in Berlin, which is just outside my place. This is where I catch the tram usually, and this is where the lyrics, the first pieces of lyrics for Lala Die were written. Lullaby is basically a lullaby about death. It's both influenced by traditional nursery rhymes and also Mikhail's murder ballads. Uh, it's not your standard lullaby that you would sing to little baby. The idea came about when Lara asked me to write a song for her upcoming movie, uh, The Stag Night, that she had adapted for the screen. I've been working together with Lara for quite a while now, it's been a wonderful collaboration and I was happy to try to write a song for this. Um, I chose to make it a duet between a female and a male singer for different reasons. First of all, I really like duets. Um, they bring about a certain feel that otherwise would not be there. There's tension between the two protagonists. The female protagonist starts off more hopeful, lighter in a way, and you can see a shift throughout the song where the female protagonist loses that kind of hope or optimism or light, if you want to call it that, and comes more around to the point of view of the male protagonist. That is both displayed in the lyrics and the music. I think writing music for a film is a a new challenge for a songwriter, for a composer. It's different to writing your own album, for example. Um, you write for a specific purpose, which may be easier because you have something to write towards. Maybe you have a little bit less freedom, which may be a good thing. But you have a certain goal in mind. I was really happy to have a lot of fantastic people and musicians on board. Um, when I wrote the song, it was just framework for a song. I wrote the lyrics and the chords and the music framework, but I needed other people to implement this idea musically. I believe very much in songwriting being a collaborative effort and it turned out really well. We had Bennett on the violin, we had Dala on the cello, Sophia on the piano, I recorded the electric guitar and electric bass, a bit of Ebo. It was a great team of people, great to work with. The best part about recording Alda was when I could see and could sense that um, it would be a song with a soul. Writing songs with a soul is what I strive towards in songwriting. And that's also where the collaborative effort comes into play. You need other people, you need other instruments to make this happen. You can't do this on your own, you can't do it yourself. And that is a very beautiful thing to witness, giving birth to a song as I understand it. was very interesting for me. Natalie, who is the actress in the film, actually uh, sung the female part. The way she sung it is very fragile, very beautiful. I believe in contrast in terms of songwriting, in terms of music. It's always good if it's if there's antagonizing poles. So that was very nice. The film itself is a horror film on a on very much on a psychological level. There's a horrifying element going through the film, which is also translated in to the sound. There's a creepy, eerie atmosphere. It's suggestive. At the end of the recording we felt that something was missing to achieve this, so then I had this great idea to add a Glockenspiel the sound and uh, throughout the song you can hear that 
the horrifying element is increasing and you can feel that the shit is gonna hit the fan. It was great working together with Leonard as the producer. There was one moment when we were, were recording the cello and um, we were thinking about how to start this song because the beginning wasn't quite clear at that point. Leonard looked at me and said, well how about we do it like, you know, you know that Leonard Cohen song where, you know, the cello and the strings stay and they start off and get louder and louder and, and he looked at me and I said, Avalanche? He was like, yes. And I was like, yes. That is when I knew that we both had a, have an understanding which is very important for a musician and producer. Yeah, do you want to do one more? Uh, yeah. yeah, just to play safe. I think um, a song needs to have a soul. I very much do see songs as um, living creatures. For me, it's rare to find songs with, uh, with an actual soul. Those songs that um, inspire me, motivate me, hit me in the heart. And there's only a few people, mainly in the cave, Tom Waits, Nana Cohen, social distortion and a few other random people and musicians and artists that are able to produce these works in my opinion. So it will be exciting to see what shape the song will take on once it's been put into a music video. Shooting the video will be a lot of fun, for sure. They took all my things, but I snuck in a picture of you. It's very important to work together with people who are on the same page because that's when you know that the end product, the result, will be what we actually want to achieve. Our days are numbered, we can't afford to be idle, and we can't afford to waste time on things that won't turn out the way you want them to. And I hope that people will be able to enjoy this song and get a certain feeling out of it. I'm very thankful to be able to work with so many talented people and musicians and um, I'm thankful for everyone that helped me give birth to this song. I wanna lift you up high.